Hey gardeners, I got a fun project for you that's fun to do when it's gloomy outside and it's still winter. So this is my new fetish in the gardening world. It's aeroponic gardening. And it all started because my younger brother said that he'd bought one and was gonna grow tomatoes in his house. And I said, no way you're gonna grow quality tomatoes indoors. Well, he proved me wrong. And then that got me in the binge of purchasing a few of them. And I even have the girls at work buying them. And they're the best gift in the world for anybody, whether you're a gardener or not. Because of what I've learned is they're really foolproof. So let me show you how this system works. You can buy them online, all different brands. Doesn't matter what you shop for. But this is how the system works. It's a container that you fill with water, which you're supposed to use distilled water. Now this is empty right now because I'm redoing this one, but they're filled with water and the water is filtered inside and it comes up through a spout. And when it comes up through the spout, it inserts that water in between these two layers of the platform. And the water then trickles down inside of each one of these individual holes where you have a little cell of plants growing. So the water comes up and it filters in there and it's moistening the roots all the time. A little bit of the roots is in the air. That's why the whole process is called aeroponics. So aeroponics is just one type of many types of hydroponic gardening. I told you I was starting to redo these. Let me show you some of the plants. These two layers will click back together. It takes a little bit of a wizardry to be able to click it back together. So I'm not going to do that in front of you. But look, we sowed seeds of mint. And look at the Henri mint. It actually came up and out some of the other holes in the apparatus. That tells you a lot about the characteristics of the thug called mint. So I'm going to pull this out. I'm thinking of possibly planting this one in my vegetable garden because this system can even work for sowing seeds for your outdoor garden. We have a master gardener that sows all of her seeds under one. I've got some pansy seeds sowed inside of this one. So you can see, let me lift it up for you. So there's my pansies. There are my individual cells. And there's my foliage. It's kind of but some of them are getting well developed. So I'm going to move my pansies outdoors. Some of them didn't take. But when you're buying plants and you're buying your own seeds to start in here, you want to buy little dwarf plants, little patio cultivars of cucumbers or tomatoes. And because they're grown hydroponically, they automatically will stay shorter than they typically would outside in your garden. Plus the fact that they're getting all their liquid and nutrients real easily just through the watering system. You use a liquid fertilizer. Oftentimes they come with a liquid fertilizer that you pour two capfuls in each every two weeks. And the reason I say that they are really foolproof is there's a digital dial on the front of them that you program with the date and the type of crop you're growing. And it will tell you, blink, 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 add fertilizer. Blink, 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 add water. Blink, blink, blink. So you don't even have to be an experienced gardener to use one of these hydroponic ones. They're perfect for growing herbs. I've got basil back in the one in the back. I got some parsley foliage here. I'm getting ready to harvest all of this, but look at that nice head of parsley. The cool thing is um, the, the, the veggies tend to be tender because they're indoors grown indoors, things like thyme. You don't get those woody stems on them when they're grown indoors under these artificial lights. So that's a nifty thing. I was tinkering around and I tried a portulaca in one of them. It's not in bloom now because I already yanked it out, but even portulaca can grow in water. You'll be amazed what you can tinker and play with in different cultivars. So how does it work? I bought a multitude of these little baskets or cells and then they come with these little sponges, which the companies say are biodegradable. We'll see when I move my pansies outdoors how biodegradable they are. There's a little cylinder in the center. You drop your seed in and you put it in your cell. I cut my own little, my own little circles to put over top of it so I can identify what my plant is growing in that particular cell. But that's, it's as simple as that. You just drop them in and then do what it tells you, watering every few weeks. Drop my seeds inside of these. Now let me show you the apparatus itself. The one that has the pansies in it is designed for seed sowing. That's why there's so many cells. Most of the time there's only about six cells in them. For tomatoes, you only want a couple tomato plants underneath the one. Too many, it gets too crowded. But what they do is they offer you high quality lights. Look underneath you here. 
What colors do you see? Reds and blues. So they really do simulate outdoor sunlight by offering all the different wavelengths of light. The blues tend to make a plant want to flower and keep it more compact. The reds are for vegetative extending growth. And then some of the more advanced, I mean high quality hydroponics in the greenhouse business, they have other colors mixed in. But for the most part, this is just white, blue, and pink in here. And I wouldn't say that these are totally uh, don't break because my coworker had one and the red and blues went off and they don't work anymore She just is left with white so you do have to keep watch on your light system But awesome awesome easy way to start cool plants in your house You may not have any place to garden outside, but anybody can do a hydroponic growth system